guys, it's Grace with Grace Gets Gastric, and I'm here today for my March favorites video. As always, I will show you five food-ish related items and five non-food related items, and all of these things are things that I have been loving in the month of March. So, without further ado, let's get started. Um, so if you've been watching my videos, you know that I have been mostly doing a kind of whole foods, minimally processed foods, clean eating type thing for March, and as such, my March items are maybe not quite as exciting as some of my other ones just because they're Whole Foods. Um, I mean, which is delicious and there's definitely like some good things, but you know, it's been, I've been eating a lot of meat and vegetables and cheese. <laughs> um, but my first item is heavy cream. So this is the organic heavy whipping cream from Trader Joe's. Uh, and I've been loving this stuff. I've been drinking it in my coffee. If you saw my most recent What I Eat in a Day video, um, you'll have seen me put that in my coffee. I am not doing keto, so I am not trying to hit a particular, a set number of fats, so I'm not doing it to get fat in. Um, but I was, for the most part, for forgoing protein shakes, um, particularly on days I wasn't working out heavily. And, um, but I was trying to not eat food until lunch. So doing a kind of intermittent fasting um, as well. And so I would use heavy whipping cream in my coffee as sort of a fat fast to help um, satiate me and keep me feeling more satisfied and full longer so that I didn't feel like I wanted to eat before lunch. So the heavy whipping cream was really just to kind of give my coffee that um, rich taste. And it's just so freaking good, you guys, heavy whipping cream. I mean, of course it is, it's fat. Uh, but I've been doing that in coffee. Uh, I've also been doing that at um, Starbucks. I've been getting kind of that pink drink, which you'll have seen me mention in one of my previous videos if you've been watching. Um, but it's just really tasty and I've been enjoying it. It's really the first time I've really had heavy whipping cream. I, like pretty much ever. I mean, like I've obviously had it before in my life, but um, even pre-op, you know, if I was having cream at all in, in my beverages, it was always half and half cream, not heavy whipping cream. Anyways, the next item, and these are, I got all of this stuff from Trader Joe's. Y'all know I love me some Trader Joe's, but pretty much all of this you can get elsewhere as well. Actually, these, this next item I got at Costco, not Trader Joe's. And this is the um, Belgioso Fresh Mozzarella 70 Calorie Snack. And they have a version of this at... Uh, at Trader Joe's, which is like the mozzarella sticks. Um, and I think that was in one of my, my Trader, my last Trader Joe's haul. But these are just like individually packaged mozzarella. This is like one ounce of mozzarella. It's the fresh, really tasty mozzarella. And I've been really enjoying this um, to eat. <laughs> uh, I've been eating this a lot as a snack um, with this next item I'll show you in a minute. And it's just really tasty. Again, it's a higher fat option, um, but I like that it's, you know, conveniently packaged for portion control, and I just love mozzarella, I always have. So um, that's been good. And then I've been eating that mostly with this Trader Joe's smoked turkey breast. I love this stuff. Um, for four slices, about two ounces, it's 60 calories, 0.5 fat, one carb, 11 protein. So the stats are or the stats are great and the taste is delicious. I really, really like this. It's just really tasty. It's a little bit thinner slice, which is nice. Um, Sometimes I'll do it in roll-ups or some, I mean, usually I just like eat it straight. It's just really good. I really like this one. Uh, and the next item is a cheese and meat combination. So this is the Volpe Rotinis with mozzarella and prosciutto. For one of these, I want to say it's like 120 calories and it's at one and a half ounces. I love these like panino rotini wraps with the um, prosciutto and mozzarella. They're so rich and decadent and like savory they just really satisfy something um and they're just like really rich and they taste decadent to me um so i really like these a lot <laughs> and i want to say this one has 12 protein and it's 120 calories so that's like perfect for what i want in terms of macros and it's a great snack great grab and go snack so um i've been eating these a lot this month and the last item i'm sure this is something that you have seen everywhere everyone and their mother loves it and I have had it for a while and I'm just now starting to really get obsessed with it, but it is the everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. Um, it's super good. I have never been an everything bagel kind of girl. Like I don't dislike them, but they were never the bagel that I would buy. They're still probably not the bagel I would buy, but 
what I really like this on is I've been doing those um, egg chalupa things that Time to Shrink um, Erica has uh, been talking about and um, I've been doing that and then I've been usually serving that with about a half or a quarter depending on the size of, of an avocado on the side and then liberally dousing that avocado with this seasoning and then eating the cheesy eggy goodness with the avocado with all the seasoning on it and it's just so good. The garlic, the sea salt, the onion, I really like it. It's just like a great perfect amount of seasoning, perfect amount of salt. Um, it's super tasty. So I definitely recommend, um, I wouldn't say like go to Trader Joe's just for this, but if you're out of Trader Joe's, it's worth it to pick this up. It's good um, on a lot of things. I don't think you'll be disappointed unless you like hate all of the things in it, in which case don't get it. <laughs> Anyways, so that is it for my food items. And next we will talk about food. So the first uh, favorite is my Kindle. Ah, plus this case. I love this case. It's like so nice. But I have been obsessed with my Kindle lately. I've been doing a lot of reading. Um, and I particularly like to read, well, every day. I read every day. I read every night before bed. Um, but I love to read when I travel on planes. Like I just, I go through books, man. So this has been really nice because I've been traveling a lot. I've been basically traveling once a month um, and I've been reading a lot of really good books. And so this has just been so convenient, so easy. I can just t toss it in my purse, toss it in my backpack and uh, it's good to go. I, I've been thinking I might do like a quarterly like book video, just sort of chatting about the books that I've read the past three months and kind of what I thought of them. Uh, obviously not weight loss surgery related, but those of you who have been around, you know that occasionally I like to dabble in with videos um, about my other interests. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. Uh, if you think it's a terrible idea, then let me know that too and I won't do it. But um, I've read about 30 books this year so far. Uh, so I, I read a lot, in case you didn't know. The next item is sort of this beauty related item and it is the T3 curlers. So these are like um, little hair curlers and my hair is actually a little bit of a mess today. Not the curlers fault, but I did use the curlers and um, I have been loving these. Now I have never been a curlers person. I got these for Christmas from my stepmom and I was kind of like, oh thanks, a, a gift like I'll never use, you know, and you know, sometimes parents do that and it was, a, you know, a sweet gift, but like I have never really liked curlers. Um, my hair doesn't hold curl very well, which is weird because I have pretty wavy curly hair, but when it came to actual like curlers, curling irons, it doesn't always hold her curl very long. So I just never really liked them. Um, but because they were a gift, I was like, I'll give them a try. You know, I can tell the, tell, you know, my stepmom I use them and I love them. They are so easy. They, they heat up really fast. I will say in the instructions, it says, um, wait for the light to turn on. There is no light. It just turns a slightly, it turns gray from black to gray. So I was thinking like it was not heating up, not heating up, not heating up. And it turns out I was just looking for a light and it just turns a different color. But once I realized that, I realized they heat up in like five minutes. It's really fast. Cause that was the other problem with curlers is like, I get up, then I have to wait for it to heat. Then I have to put them in. Then I have to wait for the, you know, it's just too much time. This is perfect. I get up, I turn it on. I wash my face by the time I've like washed my face, brushed my teeth. Uh, they're heated up. I put them in, I do my makeup. And then by the time I'm done with my makeup, it's been a while. I take them out. I'm good to go. It's so fast, so easy. They last really well. They are just really pretty and I've really been liking them. I use them almost every week, uh, which is a lot for me because normally I just don't do anything to my hair at all. <laughs> so I'm, I'm really enjoying these. Uh, like I said, they were a gift. I didn't expect to like them that much. I will, as always, try to link things below. I'll try to find them. I have no clue where she got them, but uh, I've really been liking them. Oh yes, <laughs> next item is some underwear. So I think I mentioned this in my, when I talked about Walmart, but these, you can see my size large underwear. These are from Walmart and I got them in a pack of like six and they are the Fruit of the Loom. And they're like this, you can see kind of this like breathable, polyester it's a polyester spandex blend I'll try to find the link of like what exactly they are 
but uh, I have not like bought new underwear since I've lost weight. So I've been um, rocking like, let's see, my, my size 22 uh, Lane Bryant underwear for working out, which is like not great because they are big on me, <laughs> very large. Uh, and these are perfect. I got like a size large, which works well because I do have a bit of a tummy. Uh, and that's why I was kind of worried about trying to fit underwear in particular around the hanging stomach is a little bit of a challenge, but this works great. These are super comfortable and they're great for working out in. And that was kind of what I was worried about. Um, I actually went on a hike last this last weekend and um, wore these underwear while I was working out, you know, did a seven mile hike, pretty lots of exertion. And there was no chafing, there was no rubbing, it was perfect. So I'm, I'm really liking these and they were dead cheap. Um, I have had such an aversion to spending money on new clothing because I am still losing weight. And I, you know, it's like I wanna lose another 10, 15 pounds, so not a ton, but when you're getting, when, you know, as I get lower, that amount of weight makes a bigger difference. And then I wanna chop all my skin off. And so uh, I just don't wanna spend money basically until I get plastics. <laughs> And so this, like, I felt so happy. I was like six pairs of underwear for like, I don't know, eight bucks maybe. Total deal, really comfortable, great for working out in. I really like them. And then speaking of working out in, uh, I also mentioned that I had gotten some Fabletics leggings and these are them and I love them. This is the, um, oh God, I don't even know. I'll put it down. It's like the Power Hold, high-waisted Power Hold. These are in black. I got them in the regular and then the 7 8 slink, which is like cuts off right at the ankle. And they are both in black and they are amazing. I got a size large, which it said would be the equivalent of a size 12, which is what I wear in pants and they fit perfectly. And they are so comfortable. They're really soft, they're really stretchy, but like they just, they feel nice and thick and expensive. Uh, and there's like an intro deal where you get two for $24, which Blows my mind. I cannot believe I have two pairs of leggings of these, like these are really good quality, you can tell. And I've run in them, I've lifted weights in them, I hiked a seven mile mountain, well, three and a half miles, but you know, seven miles each way. Not seven miles each way, seven miles round trip. But you know, like I, I have been active in these and they have held up really well. I felt very well supported, just, they're great. And honestly, I've had such struggles trying to find good leggings because of my loose skin and my aversion to spending money. And just, y'all know, uh, when you're big, it, finding clothes is so hard and I've never enjoyed shopping. And I don't enjoy it now even. <laughs> it's so overwhelming now and I don't even know where to start, right? Like where does one find workout clothing? Things like that you just don't learn when you're big. Because like, you're like, you have Lane Bryant and Torrid and that's where you get things. And so now I'm like, you know, and like Lululemon, I still don't feel like I'm small enough to fit there. And I don't, I don't love, <laughs> I can go on a whole tangent about supporting stores that do not support um, larger people. And I personally don't really want to do that, even though I can now fit into things. And I clearly have clothing from, from other stores, <laughs> you know, stores that do so, but like, I don't really intend to ever become someone who shops at Victoria's Secret or Hollister or Abercrombie. Um, even though like as a kid, I always wanted to shop there and I, you know, they made it very clear that I wasn't welcome there and I don't really wanna spend my money at somewhere that made me feel so terrible about myself for so long. So <laughs> long depressing tangent to say, I really like Fabletics. They go up to size, I think like 3X, maybe even bigger. Um, so I like that they're inclusive um, and these are really great leggings. Uh, I'm really happy with them. So, oh, and then I have one more item, um, which is this new makeup mirror and I'm not gonna show. So it's on right now. It is actually directly behind this and it is why my face looks so well lit. And so I'm gonna just go ahead and put a photo of what it is and I'll link it below. I got it off of Amazon and um, I'm freaking in love with it. It's like one of those Hollywood vanity mirrors and um, 
It's so pretty. It looks so nice on my desk. It is great for doing my makeup. The lighting is great. I actually really like it for um, filming my videos because uh, I often have to film them when it's dark outside because I film them after I film them after work usually. And so um, the lighting and my the lighting in my apartment is truly awful. And so it's nice for filming. It's nice for applying my makeup because again I apply my makeup early in the morning when it's still dark outside and the lighting in my apartment is terrible and so uh, it helps me not <laughs> leave the house looking like a clown um, but I really like it uh, it was well worth the money honestly because uh, my dad makes stuff like he built the house we grew up in um, and we had talked about him trying to, to build me one of these and we did kind of a cost analysis and we're basically like the cost might be a little bit cheaper but the end result like this one has like a plug you know it was just um it might be a little bit cheaper but it wouldn't look quite this um polished or wouldn't necessarily be exactly what I wanted when this was exact when I already knew exactly what I wanted and it was this so it was like you might as well spend it you not you want to spend time on it you won't have to spend money and labor putting it together and you know it's exactly what you want so it was well worth the money it's very well priced in my opinion um as like I said building it yourself would not be much cheaper and that is with someone like and that is with like my dad who would do it for free and is like very good at this kind of thing anyways long tangents all around but those are some of my favorite things from this past month uh as always, I really enjoy making these videos. I love thinking about all the things that have made me happy and brought me joy in the previous month because focusing on that kind of stuff is good for you. So let me know what your guys' favorite things were this month. Uh, favorite food item, favorite non-food item. Uh, just let me know. Let me talk to me in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you can leave a comment below if you like or just give it a thumbs up if you wanna lurk. I totally understand. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. I come out with new videos every week, usually multiple times a week. Um, and yeah, if you wanna see more of my face more regularly, <laughs> go ahead and subscribe. I hope you guys are all doing really well and I will come at you soon with a new video. Bye.